morning guys it's just before nine o'clock and I've been saying this for a while but today I am going to Formentera so the past couple of weeks uh, days and months it has been on and off if we can travel between Ibiza and Formentera um, but today for sure we can so I just booked a ticket yesterday I'm gonna head across to Formentera many of you have been asking me to go across there and shoot a little vlog so today I thought I would I hope the weather's gonna be okay um, but yeah, let's go to Formentera. And since I've been living in Ibiza, I've only managed to get across to Formentera twice. And today I'm going to be taking my car across with me. I'll explain about the prices a little bit later on. But I've got eight hours to give you a power tour of Formentera. ferry I'm on is the Balearia ferry but there are several which run and they run every half an hour it's really easy to do um, because I had a car I pre-booked yesterday and the return crossing was 39 euros um, but that is because I am resident of the Balearic Islands without that it would have been 79 euros um, you can buy the tickets just down on the marina or if you're just as a foot passenger you can even just walk on the boat and buy the tickets here this ferry seems fairly modern. Um, downstairs, I would say you have space for no more than 50 cars. Um, you've got a seating area downstairs. You've got a lounge with a, a little bar upstairs where you buy the tickets from. And then also you've got a, an outside area if you want to sit outside. Um, only takes 30 minutes, as I say. So just got time for a quick coffee and then we should be in Formentera. Just like that, guys, very quick, simple easy and cheap we are in Formentera. Formentera is the smallest of the four main Balearic Islands and it does only lie four and a half kilometers from the southern tip of Ibiza um, but the distance by boat is about 20 kilometers and as I've mentioned it just takes over half an hour. So yeah, departing Ibiza town, it brings you into the only port in Formentera which is known as La Savina. It is a relatively small port, but you do still have some fairly big boats coming in. And I just wanted to show you this area because you disembark the ferry there, and then just a few hundred meters over this direction is where you can find all the little car hire companies, scooters, motorbikes, um, even e-bikes. So for those of you not traveling across with a car, it's easy to pick up um, some kind of vehicle over here and go off and explore the island. If you wasn't into driving while you're here, you can also hire bicycles, which are very popular, or there are organized tours. You can just hop on a bus as soon as you get off the ferry um, and they will take you around the island. Plan then is to leave the marina and head across to the opposite side of the island to La Mola Lighthouse, which is just less than 20 kilometers away. Um, but as you can see, the weather is not great at the moment and it's supposed to brighten up so on the way um, there is the capital San Francisc where I am now uh, I'm just going to stop off there try find somewhere for a coffee and maybe a tostada and give it an extra hour and hopefully the sun might be shining through looks to be a, a pretty busy place over there opposite the church <laughs> Just to quickly show you what I've gone for, I've gone for a tostada with jamon serrano and tomato and then a cafe con leche. At the southeastern tip of the island you have La Mola Lighthouse. Uh, it's 158 meters above sea level. It was built in the mid 1800s and it's only had its doors open to tourists since 2019. And inside you have a museum. This is an added bonus. The actual museum part of the lighthouse is open. Um, it's free as well. I think I'm the only tourist in Formentera, but yeah, pretty impressive. On the way back down from La Mola Lighthouse, 
you have to make sure you stop off at this little place for a coffee or a beer, depending on what time of the day it is. Uh, let me show you why. It has probably the best view in the whole of Formentera. Check out the view, absolutely amazing. It's still a little bit gray and cloudy, but you can imagine this with blue skies. The color of the water is amazing. You can just see how narrow Formentera is. You can see both sides of the island. We're gonna head down there in a second. Then that's Playa Mijon. And normally you can see a Ibiza in the distance just there. Only a few minutes drive down from the lookout point and it brings you to this stunning little fishing village called Escalo. There's not a great deal here, but I do recommend you stop off. There's a handful of shops and cafes, uh, but it's a very scenic place. Great for taking photos. Um, I will show you now. Also, yesterday I noticed there is a live webcam um, in this part of the island. It's got to be somewhere up there, um, but I will put the link to that. It's on the official Formentera tourist website. I'll put the link for that and also some of the other places and locations that I have been. Right, okay guys, let me show you S. Calo. guys great news as you can see the t-shirt is on it's half past one and it's getting warm blue skies this is what i'm talking about guys this is what formentera is famous for beautiful waters that is where we have just uh, come from the village of Callo. just a short walk and you have several little beaches coves and amazing water like this it could be in the Caribbean or the Maldives. is Formentera's longest beach at five kilometers long and it is made up of different bays, coves, some areas are sandy and others are rocky. Um, at the moment I'm in a rocky part of it because I wanted to come down and show you this restaurant behind me which is called 10.7. Um, all the way along the, the, this section there are little chiringuitos, little cafes, a variety of accommodation um, that ranges from small hostels and apartments to a big Ryu hotel at the far end. And also, new for this year, um, Pasha are opening a small boutique hotel with 14 rooms um, and also a restaurant. So that will be worth checking out. And that is due to open on the 20th of May. So maybe if Pasha you're watching, you can give me an invite. I'll come back across uh, and I can and show these guys uh, what to expect this summer. we are in now is known as Cap de Barbaria and that is at the far south of Formentera and it's the most southerly point in the Balearic Islands. Behind me you have a lighthouse, behind that you have Africa about 250 kilometers away and then over in that direction there is a watchtower, um, it's about 150 meters away but I'm not going to go over there today um, I want to show you a few other places and I'm getting a little bit pushed for time. Um, I would get some cool drone shots here, but it's a little bit windy on top of the cliff. So 
Um, just going to show you this place quickly and then I'm going to head now to uh, one of the most famous beaches in Formentera which is called Cala Saona. I should have really read the information board before but it says that li this lighthouse was only built in 1967 so it's a lot younger than the one that we saw earlier and um, also says it's been featured in many adverts um, if anyone knows any of those let me know um, also it says that it's totally automated and it's controlled by remote control by, from somebody in Ibiza <laughs> Here we are guys, Calasona. It is beautiful. Hardly anyone there, four people. Um, this beach, it's not one of the, the longest, but it is quite wide. Um, and the added benefit of here is if you don't hire a car and you just decide to hire a bicycle, it's within an easy reach of where you get off the ferry. So this is, this is a beautiful spot. Here's a 360 of Cala Sahona. There you have Sol Restaurant. And another restaurant where we've just parked. There's a big parking up there. Then, medium size to big for Formentera Hotel. Big, wide, open beach with hardly anyone on it. I can't promise it'd be like this in summer. And there we go, the crystal clear seas. Was a quick 15 minutes on Calasona Beach. Uh, the time now is quarter past four, and uh, the ferry back is at six o'clock. So um, only an hour and 45 minutes to go. There were there were two places that I really wanted to show you. Um, one was Espuyols, which is the main tourist area in Formentera. Um, that's where you've got the majority of accommodation, shops, bars, restaurants, a little bit of nightlife as well. Um, but I think I'm going to leave that one and uh, maybe I can save that one for another day when a few more things are open. Um, I'm going to head to another beach now. I thought you guys would appreciate seeing a beach more than a resort. So heading to Ietas Beach, which is on the northern tip of Formentera. why I wanted to show you Ietas Beach guys. Um, it has been voted as one of the best beaches in the entire world. It really is beautiful. Um, it's a thin stretch of sand which is on the northern tip of Formentera. I'm just coming round. I don't think you'll be able to see it but you can see Ibiza in the background. Along this beach you have um, a handful of amazing famous restaurants such as Juani Andreas, Esmoli de Sal um, and Tiburon. And this area is the most popular area to visit on a day trip when you charter a boat from Formentera. And if anyone is coming out to Ibiza and fancies visiting Formentera on a speedboat, please just give me a shout, drop me a message and I will uh, help find the perfect boat for you. I have loads to choose from, all different sizes and all different budgets. So uh, just, yeah, just give me a shout, drop me a message if that's something that you want to do. If you do come to Formentera and you are a beach lover, then Ietas Beach has to be the one for you. Okay, let me show you around. like that guys we're back at the port in Formentera um, so that's been eight hours in total hope you've all enjoyed that 
obviously um, it is better to spend more time here, but I just wanted to show you that it is possible to do it in a day, day if you want to. Obviously in the summertime, the sun sets a lot later and the ferries run from, well, they run all through the night, but you could get the 7, 7.30 ferry across and then get a 9, 10 o'clock ferry back. So you have even more time to spend here. So we have just scratched the surface of Formentera, but I hope it just gives you a little bit of an idea of what is on offer here. And um, please do let me know which has been your favorite part of the uh, day in the comments box below. So I will finish up with the vlog there. Um, just as always, thank you very much for watching. Um, please do give me a like and also subscribe if you haven't done already. I've got about 15 minutes left before the ferry leaves. So time to crack open a beer. Cheers guys.